Guys, this is just about a quarter of all of the highly perishable product uh, that we're trying to help our suppliers move. So we put a new basket on our website. It's called Save Our Supply Chain. All right, it's mostly has in it high perishable stuff. It's all good quality. We'll pick it, we'll pack it, uh, we'll make sure it's all good. But two weeks from now, it's not gonna be good anymore. All right, a lot of this stuff needs to be eaten fresh. Please check out our website where I've updated the list. Have a good look at it. Um, it's a full basket. We'll have it available for pickup centers all around Miami-Dade County. We're partnering with local churches and local restaurants to be able to act as regional pickup centers to be able to keep our logistics nice and efficient. Um, we really need your help to move this product and to help empty out the supply chain. About over half of what we have is gonna to go to charitable organizations. We're giving out free food to the community. But for all of those of you that need groceries and you need them safe, we can get this product out near your house. We can pick it up from a regional center. None of this product has ever been touched, right? The last time this stuff was touched was at the, at the farm where it was packed in the shed. Um, so it's really safe. We're doing everything we can to get it out to you. So please give us a hand, help us clear this supply chain. This is what I've been talking about, what was coming for the last couple of weeks. The entire food service supply chain has stopped. No restaurants, no hotels, no cruise ships. There's a mountain of food coming uh, and there isn't the system to get this out to people. So we're trying to fill the gap. Please get online, please order, please help us. And you're also helping to keep local staff, um, local people from your community from within the restaurant industry employed. We're helping out. We're gonna have local restaurants from Geralda to start with. We're bringing some of their staff in and getting keeping them employed. So please help us. Thank you.